In the University of Pittsburgh's Department of History, researchers use interdisciplinary methods and international partnerships to create new knowledge about the world's interconnected past, and they bring their findings into public debate in exciting new ways. One of the things I'm really excited about with my current research is that uh, the database that I'm developing showing the history of settlement and the history of floods and droughts. Now the Yellow River is interesting because it carries a huge amount of sediment, more by an order of magnitude than any other river in the world. And so what I'm doing that is completely brand new, no one has ever done this work before, is to put together the history of what's happening on the upper course of the river and what's happening on the lower course of the river so that I can tell a long-term story, a thousands of years story about how humans destabilized and transformed the whole geophysical circumstance of East Asia. I need databases, I need a GIS, and I'm combining my own spatial information about, for instance, the locations of floods and the locations of waterworks, dams and dredging. I'm combining that with information from the physical geography record and the information from the environmental history record about years of more and less rainfalls. And once it's done, it's going to be the longest continuous record from any human documentary record of the relationship between people and an environmental system. This is a super interdisciplinary project. It's highly collaborative and it's using new techniques from the digital humanities and also from environmental science.